The vegetables on your plate started out as seeds. Since the beginning of agriculture, farmers have selected those plants that were best adapted to their environment and saved the seeds in order to re-sow them the following season. This selection is dependent upon the exchange of seeds. Through this process, farmers have been able to develop a wide variety of crops that are adapted to their environments. But that was before the red tape. In 1970, a European directive created the common catalogue of varieties of agricultural plant species. To be marketed, a seed has to be registered in this catalogue. It is a very exclusive club. First, there is a burdensome and complex application procedure. Then there are the registration fees. These can cost thousands of euros. Final step, seeds are assessed against three criteria, distinctiveness, uniformity and stability. These criteria, like the rest of the procedure, favour standardised seeds meant for industrial agriculture, not farm-saved seeds, which are by nature unstable, so they can adapt to their environment. The European Commission has amended the legislation, but has not changed the basic logic. To be able to market their seeds, small farmers, seed breeders and gardeners have to have their varieties registered in the catalogue, which is slowly crushing farm biodiversity. The catalogue contains 34,500 varieties, an impressive number, but nothing compared to the real genetic diversity out there. And it is this diversity which is the best defence against natural disasters. The genetic heritage of farm-saved seeds is diverse enough to be resilient to climate change, diseases or pest attacks. But these kinds of seeds are at risk. They are replaced by industrial-scale monocultures of standardised and uniform plants. Loss of biodiversity equals loss of food security. In Europe, five companies control at least 50% of the market for some crops. Europe is the biggest seed exporter, supplying 60% of the world market, 75% of which is controlled by just 10 huge seed companies and also agrochemical companies. Trapped into buying corporate seeds tailor-made for use with agrochemicals, farmers lose their independence, becoming dependent on costly inputs. Preventing farmers from sowing and exchanging seeds freely is denying them their rights and stopping centuries-old innovation. Biodiversity is essential to help the world feed itself. Seeds are life. Let's save their diversity and ensure a food-secure future for everyone. <laughs>